y'all welcome back to the channel uh today we got our mystery tackle box mega bundle four i believe yeah because i missed out on number three well i didn't miss out on it but y'all know how that went but uh anyway so we got number four and so we're gonna dive into it and see what we got mm. Feels pretty hefty, whatever it is. Uh, but anyway, so this is the hundred dollar value box plus you uh, if you spend fifty dollars or more, you get another mystery box that's valued at like thirty to forty dollars. Plus you get a mystery lure that is valued at seven ninety nine. So. I don't know how you tell the difference in all of it, but anyways, it's all in this box. Uh, so we gonna dive in here and find out what all we got and see if it was worth it. Uh, so basically, you know, you're you're getting. If I guesstimated it right, I think. For like fifty two dollars you're getting a hundred and forty to a hundred and fifty dollars in value. Man, this thing is all the way to the top. Mm. Alright, so some of this stuff, you know, like I said, you have to buy a couple of baits because the box is thirty nine ninety nine. And like I said, you pay thirty nine ninety nine and you get the the hundred dollar value box so with that being said let's see here what we got what we're working with so this is the the mega mystery bundle this is the other mystery box that they send to you for spending over 50 bucks. All right, so first up, I bought this bait. This is uh, the 13 Fishing Whipper Snapper. Uh, 110, it dived down to nine feet, and this color is Disco Shed. I've got pretty much all these except for this one and the other one that I'm about to show you. But anyways, a real reflective minnow color. Can't miss it. Uh, real good bait. And here's the other one I bought. And this one is a Lucky Charm. Really good bait. It's green. Got that purple blue on the top and it's kind of translucent and those are four and a quarter inches long and they weigh nine sixteenths of an ounce all right so those were the two baits that i bought uh, and then i guess i bought these one thirty two ounce a uh, little thumper crappie kit I bought those so yeah anyways we got the little thumper crappie baits I thought that'd be pretty cool like I said I'm trying to add to my little multi-species and I'm guessing my mystery lure was the mini banger and sexy shed because i didn't order that i know that so anyways that would be that uh i'm pretty sure let's see okay so it says you get one lure 
between six fifty to nine dollars and seventy four cents. So, anyways, I got that. Not bad at all. Uh, I don't have that color, so I'm not mad about it one bit. All right, so now let's get into the box, the hundred of a dollar value box, and see what they can get me there. So right off the top, we have some uh, Kaleen's uh, four inch jerk minnow junior and bait fish is the color. And this is a 10 pack. And basically this is like a, a little fluke. You can see I like the color of it, good color. Drop shot that, uh, put it on a little jig head. Uh, there's a lot of little things you can do with little things that are like that. But anyways, that's not too bad. Kaleen's, you know, that's a pretty expensive little brand. Uh, next up, we have some, uh, one of my favorite companies, uh, 13 Fishing vertigo minnow this is uh in purple rain four inches long and weighs a seventh of an ounce and this is going to be a drop shot bait for you take one of these out and show it to you and i guess you could run this maybe on a little jig head but it is kind of flat i would definitely recommend using that on a drop shot more than anything but you got the little paddle tail uh but yeah pretty cool uh it's got that little spot for the belly purple rain a real cool color i like it i got a lot of their baits in that color There's not too many colors of their baits that I don't have. Except for maybe some new ones that they've come out with that I don't know about yet. But anyways, you get that. Good bait. Next up, you get some 10,000 fish Sakoshi bugs. And blue crawl. And these are two and a half inches long. Uh, these are a Ned bait, and they're made out of uh, a Stretch X material. I mean, you can see it's pretty wobbly and stretches out pretty good. See, the first batch that I had, see, my buddy was pointing this out to me. I had a problem with them breaking real easy, but... His batch was real, real soft. They'd fall over real, real easy like that. And mine wouldn't. They stayed up kind of. They like they would barely fall over. So I think I got an old batch that first come out with. And uh, anyways, I liked them. But they would break really easy on me. And I didn't like that at all. And he was like, man, I can stretch mine out to here. And. So I can see the difference. They changed the plastic up. So anyways, good bait. Next up, we got a Lucky Craft. Uh, a Lucky Craft something. It's two and a half inches. Uh blue brim is the color weighs half an ounce and it dives eight to nine feet uh 
I think they call this the moon salt. Anyways, really cool color. Can't go wrong, blue and chartreuse. And it's got some little red spots on it. Definitely cool. Next up, we have uh, the Guggen Squad uh, Poppin' Filthy Frog and Bullfrog. And I will say this, I've got every one of their frogs except for in the Poppin' version, so I'm kind of excited to get that. Because like I said, I don't have none of their frogs that pop. Uh, this two and a half inches. And weighs five eighths of an ounce and like I said once again bullfrog color can't go wrong with that oh okay so here's a good item uh, next up you have the Guggen Squad Junior Contender this one is in crappie uh, four and a half inches long at the slow sink and weighs two thirds of an ounce. Really good bait right here. I've got a few of them. Uh, I'll take it out for those of y'all that hadn't seen them because I know there's a lot of non Guggen fans out there. But, anyways, this is a really good swim bait it's got rotating hook hangers on it which is real cool it's got matte finish on it and it's got a weird texture to it i don't know how to explain it it's almost like it's rubberized but anyways a really good imitation of a crappie real thin comes through the water real easily i have fished mine and uh I don't know what that is but anyways I haven't caught any fish off of them yet but that is still to be determined I haven't put a whole lot of work in the swim bait fishing I do like the Mike Buka bluegills and the sheds I've had luck off of them and that seems to be the ones I go to every time I want to fish with a swim bait. So, anyways, that's a good bait. Next up, we got some 10,000 fish Zucci bugs. Uh, I'm not too impressed with these. Black and blue. They're, I think, five inches long. Yeah, five inches long, six pack. The color is black and blue. And I'll take them out for the people who haven't seen them. But anyways, they got some weird wings going on and some weird stuff down here. And I've been watching some videos on them though, but that you can like, like modify them. And that's the reason why they made them that the way they did. You can fish it the way that it is, or you can modify it the way they show you. Like you can cut off a bunch of the stuff. One thing I hate about their packaging, never goes back in there the way it's supposed to. But anyways, not a bad, but not a bad bait at all. But just not my cup of tea. Uh, next up, what do we got here? Oh, we got a, a rattling one eighth ounce Spin Master Acme uh, Rooster Tail. This one I'm kind of excited about. I call all these little things Rooster Tail. I know there's a real Rooster Tail, but anytime you get something like this, it looks like a little Rooster Tail. But. Anyways, you got that feathered treble hook, got some kind of little bead, a little weight, and you got that. And so yeah, I'm really excited to fish that. I bet that's a probably a expensive little dude. 
Uh, I've even noticed the price of rooster tails went up, so I wouldn't be surprised if that hadn't went up. A little spin master, eighth ounce. You know, that's the cool thing about these little baits. You never know what you might catch on them. Next up, uh, this one is uh, Freshwater Customs, uh, weighs 0.63 ounces, and it's uh, 1.69 inches long. It's called the Jig Para Spin by Major Craft. Now this little bait right here actually looks really freaking cool. Uh, got a torpedo fin will help to cut off unnecessary rolling when falling and keep the usability even in fast tide. Alright, let's take this little dude out and check this out. A little tail spin. But, anyways, check that little dude out. But, anyways, so you got that little dude. And, I like that. Y'all have to excuse the dog. He's barking. I don't know what he's barking at. But, anyways. He seems to bark at anything. Oh, so I see what they're talking about. So you got this little... If you look to the side, there's that little, like, blade side down there that'll keep it in line. So, that'll be definitely something to fish during the wintertime. For sure. Make sure I put this back in here right. Treble hooks. And then, I like that little dude goes right there. So, yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Next up, we have a Guggen Clutch. This is in Sarah, Sarah Crutch Crawl, Sarah Crossy Crawl, and this is two and a half inches and weighs half an ounce. Basically, a lipless crankbait. Can't ever go wrong with them. Next up, we have an Excite Bait XB1, dives two to five feet, and weighs three eighths of an ounce. It has a weight transfer system, distinct sound action. Bluegill Supreme is the color. And there that little guy is. Can't ever go wrong with square bill. Can't ever have too many of those. Especially as often as you lose them. So. That's that. And just think we got another box to go. But not least to the Shop Carl's Amazing Spinner Bait. This is a Char Chartreuse White. I do not have one of their spinner baits. This is a 3 8 of an ounce, and it says they use a mustad hook. So, anyways, pretty cool. So, that is the end of that box. 
now we'll move on to the next one. So anyways, now we got the other mystery box that come along with buying that one for spending over 50 bucks. Now, I think that I've come to understand that these are multi-species boxes. They're not strictly bass. So, you kind of get what you get. And you might get a duplicate that tells you that. And you might get the same box you received the first time. Or you may not. So, let's see. Alright, well now this is cool. This is another one of these companies that I really like. This is uh, the Team Arc. TS-115. Really like this. And I don't believe I have this color. Uh, this is bone. And I'll take it out and show it to you. Really, really cool. But anyways... Got like a little popping style mouth on it. You got the feathered treble hook. But anyways, I've got like four or five of these and I don't think the bone is one of them I have. So, excited to see that. Next up is a Optimum swim bait. And this one is in Chameleon. I do have one of these already, so this might end up in the uh, giveaway box. Nothing wrong with it, it's a good swim bait. Next up, we get a pack of cream three and three quarter inches, five pack green pumpkin, and these are some kind of crawl. So, yeah, it's a little crawl, nothing wrong with that, uh, it's solid body all the way through, uh, does have little ridges on the side to catch water, so, and you know, can't ever go wrong with cream, cream's been making lures for a long time, and they've been making them at a great price. I remember when I was a kid, that's about all I could afford. They're like a dollar or something. Next up, we got some Lucky John. Pro Series Long John. Uh, green pumpkin is the color. They're 3.1 inches long. They are 8 pieces. Uh, mackerel scent. Uh, anyways, it says New Edition. Uh, so I've gotten a lot of their baits before, but normally they're bigger baits than this. So, let's check this little dude out. So basically it's just like a little low drop shot, or put you a little jig head on there. It's got a little boot tail. Ooh, definitely got some stink to it. You definitely smell the micro on it, but look, you can see all that green, that red glitter in there. Not a very big bait. Like I said, this would be something that I would use on a little jig head or on a drop shot. And comes in a little clam shell and everything, so can't go wrong with that. Next up, we got some X Zone. Uh, round ball jig heads. These are half an ounce and a size four. And the color is hot pink. So anyways, X zone, big old jig head. We got a stout hook. Uh, I just wish that it wasn't a half an ounce, but you know, 
can't complain. Free, free is free. Next up, we got the Lunker City, which I'm familiar with. Uh, this one's called the Freaky Fish. Uh, the color is black ice. They're four and a half inches long, and you get eight of them in a pack. Alright, so you get a fluke style bait. Uh, it's even got the little belly slot. It has the spot for the hook on the top. And the tail goes like this instead of up and down. But yeah, I really like that color too. I'm digging that. Definitely a good bait. I've fished with quite a few stuff from uh, Lunker City and they make some really good stuff. Alright, we got two items left in this box. Next up we have a Jenko CD7 Silent Medium Diamond Crankbait armed with BMC hooks and the color of this is Olive Crawl. Jenko makes some good baits and I really like the color of that one. And you know it coming fall time and Winter will be here before too long. I'll start moving out to the deep. That'll work really well. A lot of people don't use crawl colors until springtime, but be really surprised what you can catch on a crawl color in the winter time. Next up, we have a Hearts football jig and chunk. I got in one of these in the last one. This one's in green pumpkin. I think the other one was black and blue. So, this is a half ounce. So, anyways, I think this is really cool. So, you get the football head. You can see the little eyeballs. Uh, but, yeah, man, it comes with a little chunk on it. I don't know what kind of chunk that is, but... Oh, it's their own chunk, so that explains it, but anyway, a little crawdad chunk. Let's see if I can hold that skirt. But you can see it's got a nice beefy hook. Uh, but yeah, anyways, there you go. Uh, can't complain about that at all. Anytime you get a, a jig and a chunk in the same package, you're doing something right. I mean, they're basically setting you up to go fish right then and there. You don't have to go get nothing. Alright guys, that is the end of the box. So, I got all that for $52. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Uh, and let me know what y'all think about these bundles. They still got them going on. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up the next bundle. And we'll see what happens in there. Let me know what y'all think about the bundle. Do y'all like them? Do y'all think they're worth the money? Uh, so far, I've gotten some pretty cool stuff that I ain't seen before. So I do like that. But anyways... Thank y'all. Please hit that like button. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe already. If you're watching the channel, you might as well subscribe. But anyways, I will see y'all on the next one.